Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On today's episode of Reading Through the Bible, we are going to be looking at 2 Timothy chapter 2. The appeal renewed. You then, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Jesus Christ. And the thing you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses, and trust to reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. Join with me in suffering like a good soldier of Christ Jesus. No one serving as a soldier gets entangled in civilian affairs, but rather tries to please his commanding officer. Similarly, anyone who competes as an athlete does not receive the victor's crown, except by competing according to the rules. The hard-working farmer should be the first to receive a share of the crops. Reflect on what I am saying, for the Lord will give you insight into all of this. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, descended from David. This is my gospel, for which I am suffering, even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But God's word is not chained. Therefore, I endure everything for the sake of the elect that they too may attain salvation in Jesus Christ with eternal glory. Here is a trustworthy saying. If we die with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we disown him, he will also disown us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot disown himself. So this section of chapter 2 is written by Paul. Uh, it's a time where he was in jail in chains for serving Christ. Now, it's making reference to farmers and athletes and other things and what the rewards are for what they do if they work hard. And similarly, as a Christian, if we stay the course and we stay with Christ, we also will be rewarded in such a way. Um, if we stay with Christ, he stays with us. If we uh, persevere, then he perseveres with us. Um, however, if we decide that we want to leave Christ and disown him, he will do the same to us. So we need to be living our life for Christ um, and have faith in him to stay the course. Verse 14, dealing with false teachers. Keep reminding God's people of these things. Warn them before God against quarreling about words. It is of no value and only ruins those who listen. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, and present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, and who correctly handles the word of truth. Avoid godless chatter, because those who indulge in what it will become more and more ungodly, their teaching will spread like gangrene. Among them are Hymenaeus and Philetus, who have departed from the truth. They say that the resurrection has already taken place, and they destroy the faith of some. Nevertheless, God's solid foundation stands firm, sealed with the inscription, The Lord knows those who are his, and everyone who confesses the name of the Lord must turn away from wickedness. In a large house... There are articles not only of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay. Some are for, for special purposes and some are for common use. Those who cleanse themselves from the latter will be instruments for special purposes, made wholly useful for the master of prepared to do any good work. Flee the evil desire of youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call the Lord of pure heart. Don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments, because you know they produce quarrels. And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, 
but must be kind to everyone and able to teach, not be resentful. Opponents must be gently instructed in the hope that God will grant them repentance, leading them to knowledge of the truth. And they will come to their senses and escape from the trap of the devil, who has taken them captive to do his will. So this last section of chapter 2 of Second Timothy talks about um, false teachers. Um, so we shouldn't waste our time arguing with them and trying to um, show them that they're wrong or them trying to say that we're wrong. And it's kind of a back and forth thing that doesn't need to happen. But we should be gentle with them, show them the truth and show them the way that is correct. But we shouldn't spend so much time with it because we can be led astray by false teachings. So we need to be careful of that as well. So as Christians, we need to hold strong to the Bible, but also know the truth. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. We will continue with 2 Timothy chapter 1 next.